Hi there, I'm Samuel Golden. Here's a familiar scenario. You're at the park or the mall and you hear an airplane above you. Everyone else just goes about their day, but you simply must stop and look up. Whether it's a small helicopter or a jetliner, you gawk and you think to yourself, wow, that would be so cool. If that describes you, then you are in the right place. For years, I was the person in that scenario, and today I am proud to call myself a commercial pilot. I can tell you that when you learn how to fly, it changes who you are and how you feel about yourself forever. It certainly has for me. I am also fortunate that I've been able to incorporate flying into my business life. I am the digital marketing manager at King Schools, where we have created 100 plus pilot courses, many of them free, to help pilots pass their exams and become better aviators. But back to you. You're here because you can't stop looking skyward and you want to learn how to fly, but where do you start? And how are you gonna find the time and the money to chase your dreams? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. This is part one of a series of short videos that we are making just for you. In each video, we will take a few minutes to explain some important decisions you need to make and the best ways to learn. I'll be honest with you, I want you to learn how to fly. And by the end of this series, my goal is that you will feel inspired to go after your dream, armed with some powerful knowledge that will save you a ton of time and money in the process. I will also make sure to give you as many resources as possible most of them free, and I'll be sure to link them on your screen or in the description so you can take advantage right away. Okay, let's get started for today. The very first task on your to-do list is to get a medical certificate. A medical is proof that you are fit to fly in the eyes of the Federal Aviation Administration or the FAA. I recommend you start here because if you have a medical challenge, you'll want to know right away. Here are the three simple steps to get your medical. Step one, find an aviation medical examiner or an AME. The FAA website offers a searchable database to locate an AME near you, so that's pretty easy. Step two, make an appointment and complete an online application on the FAA's MedExpress webpage. And step three, decide on what kind of medical you want to be examined for. Let's talk a little bit more about that last step. There are four types of medicals, basic med, third class, second class, and first class. As you move through the medicals, they generally become more stringent and require more frequent exams, but they offer more privileges. For example, to become a private pilot, a third class or basic med suffices. For paid flying, a second class certificate is needed, and for airline aspirations, a first class certificate is required. Required. So, consider your general health and your long-term goals when selecting a medical. If you're in good health and you want to fly for the airlines one day, go for a first class from the very beginning. If you want to just fly for fun, a third class or basic med would be just fine. Okay, we're almost done, but one last pro tip. Be very, very careful when filling out your MedExpress medical application form from step two. Whatever you submit there will become a part of your permanent health record. So if you have any questions about this form or have any questions about what to check yes to on the form, I'd recommend you stop and consult your flight instructor. And we'll talk about instructors in a later video. Okay, that's it for today. In the next video, we'll be discussing where to learn, so stay tuned.